Members of the Locked Up Investment Holders Forum have been collaborating with the Bank of Ghana since last year to initiate redemption processes for investment from financial houses and savings and loans companies. The group, however, blamed the central bank, accusing it of lack of good faith and urgency in their situation. The bank of Ghana can revoke them the licenses today, provided government has made resources available to pay these investors, because we don't want the licenses to be revoked and tell investors that we should go and uh, sit somewhere without getting our money. We want to make sure that once you revoke the licenses, you pay us as you pay the other people in 2017 and 2018. They were not successful in petitioning the finance minister. We came here and the security people are saying there is no minister here. The minister didn't come or is not in. I asked deputy, no deputy. I asked, I know there is another uh, two deputies. Nobody is there. Any director? No, the director is there. Anybody that without all this hierarchy, even the last person that we can speak to, so that when the minister comes, she or she will also uh, give the message to the minister. They say, there is nobody there to have the meeting with us. A whole ministry there is unfortunate because I brought the letter. And if the minister was not going to be available, he should have arranged. That's how we manage organizations pure, simple administration. They insist they will continue with their picketing every fortnight until their matter is resolved. So it is a simple call from these people who have their funds locked with these institutions. They want the finance ministry to give the Bank of Ghana the assurance that they will make funds available if the BOG goes ahead to collapse these institutions because they have become insolvent. Grace Hamwa Ajiman, TV3 News. Accra. Let's now go to the labor front and government has declined to negotiate with the striking teachers due to their refusal to call off their week-long industrial action. Director of Grievances and Negotiations at the Fair Wages and Salaries Commission, Professor Charles Adabo, made this known at a media briefing in Accra. If indeed they are able to call off the strike, we are ever ready as a government team to meet them even today or tomorrow. Thank you very much. No, no, but were you disappointed with them not calling off the strike? Obviously, um, you were there yesterday. Indeed, NLC is um, a state institution mandated to do, do such engagement. And therefore, if they have given the directive that um, call off the strike so that negotiations can also continue and teacher unions not obliging, I think that clearly is something that is surprising to us.